Hey everyone, uh, my name is Adam. Uh, I am a part of the Central Campus here and I'm a member of the production team um, here at Audacious. Um, it's an honour to bring you the second episode of our Relationship Over Rules uh, series that we're doing in the devotions. Um, so let's, uh, let's kick off uh, and let's have a look where we're going. Uh, we are developing and deepening our relationship uh, with Christ. Um, and the first verse we're going to look at today is actually from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verses 17 to 22. So I'll give you a second again uh, if you want to have a look at your Bibles, uh, although this was the same, uh, same verse as yesterday. So maybe you've got it highlighted already, but let's have a look. Uh, so as Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And why do you call me good? Jesus asked. Uh, Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony, you shall not defraud and honour your father and mother. Teacher, he declared, all these I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you do lack, he said, go sell everything you have and give it to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven. Then you can follow me. And at this man, the, faith, the man's face fell. He went away sad and because he had great wealth. Now, he was a really wealthy man. And yesterday, we ended our devotion with the idea of pushing into knowing how loved we are. Today, we're going to step into moving from those rules into the relationships. Now, if you think about it, the rich young ruler obeyed all the commandments. He said he was from a little boy. Uh, he had absolutely everything. He was a very wealthy person. Um, but one thing that he did lack is that he was, mission, he was missing that point of having that relationship with Jesus. The devil wants to keep you from having that relationship uh, and keep you in an area of comfort, essentially. And it's calling over comfort. We must remember that it's calling it over comfort. And um, because if he keeps you there, he knows you're not going to experience God. OK, he wants you all for himself and he wants you to essentially be you without God. OK, uh, and he wants to do all the works through you because he knows that if the enemy works through you, then God won't be working with you as well. Now, Jesus wants to bring you into a relationship and starts this by having uh, a consumed heart. Okay, now let's take a moment to fall in to fall in love again with God. Okay, to be consumed by Him, to be consumed by Jesus. This starts by knowing how much we are loved. Okay, it just starts how much we are loved, knowing how much we are loved. And we were talking about it yesterday. And if we look at one of the most well-known Bible verses, the Gospel according to John, chapter three, verse sixteen. And now you've already got this highlighted, so I know you don't need to already. For God so loved the world, he gave us one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And there is literally nowhere that you can run without knowing that you have God's love. He, he It's that free, unmerited grace of God. For God so loved the world, he gave us one and only son. And in fact, in, in the book of Romans, chapter three, uh, sorry, uh, chapter eight, verses 38 to 39, it says, I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life. Angels, demons, neither other, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all of creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now let's think about this for a moment. Think about this for a minute. Uh, allow your thinking to recognise again how loved you are. Now we left this yesterday like that, but I want you to think about how nothing can separate you from that love. Nothing. Not what. Not one thing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing you've done will ever separate you from the love of God, and nothing uh, you will do will separate you from the love of God. So let's take a second. We need to close your eyes, take some deep breaths, uh, and have a think about how loved you are. Uh, have a blessed morning, church, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.